Hello, uh, we are at the FMBB World Championship. Uh, today is the third day of uh, the modeling competitions. And uh, today uh, we start with the modeling three category. Yes. Uh, already we saw five dogs. So yeah. Good. And uh, we are with uh, one of our judges, Celso uh, Alves. Uh, Hello. Thank you very much for uh, giving us this opportunity to talk with you. Um, first of all, um, what do you think of the dogs you have seen until now? I seen. I think we seen good dogs, but uh, in opposition also uh, good decoys. So when we have both together, and we, when we have uh, an opportunity to make a, a really selective trial, the things can be really interesting. So that. Uh, uh, I'm this for I'm in monitoring uh, for the last 18 years. And, so you're uh, uh, first of all, how old are you? I'm 48. I'm going to make 49 in nice. a while. And uh, where do you live? I live in uh, now. I live in south of Portugal. Mm -hmm. In you Faro. are from there or? From I'm from Lisbon. Okay. Before I was in Lisbon, I have a big. Uh, a big club there uh, where uh, we a lot of us make monitoring. Mm -hmm. We have uh, 25 dogs and 20 persons, uh, seven level three dogs. And to which age you started with dogs? I started age, uh, uh, 22 years back. Uh, the first time I started it was in Portugal. There, it was not anything almost. They start uh, no with dog sports in general. N they starting they were starting some things, but uh, there was not uh, schools. The only the guys that teach dogs it was the military, mm -hmm. and the guys that live from the military. So they start. I start to see things, and uh, I'm when I get my first dog. I am a police officer, but I didn't work with dogs. Mm -hmm. I work in a civilian. Um, Brigade, so that uh, okay. I get guys in the in the street as a civilian guy, and um, then I get my first dog, and uh, I train him. Uh, what kind of dog? It was a Grunendal, a, Bel a Belgian Shepherd Grunendal. That's why my um, affix, the the name of my dogs is Dukes Negros because I started with the Grunendal. Okay. And um, my first Grunendal, uh, when he has uh, Two months and a half, I go to the vet and I say, sit, don't move, and I go to speak to the vet. And the vet said to me, are you a dog trainer? And I say, no, but you, that, that it's a Grunendal uh, baby. Yeah, but uh, I'm not a dog trainer, but you train your dog. Yeah, uh, but it's my dog. I don't understand. So, the... so you never saw something before, like other dog trainers? Or... No, no, I didn't understand nothing at all. Uh, when, when I was a child, I trained small animals, uh, rabbits and uh, parakeets and stuff like that, but uh, I never have the chance to have a dog. So when I have a dog, I pass a lot of time with him and uh, get the uh, sense. Yes. And uh, I trained, uh, then the, the, the vet said, well, you should learn something. I'm in a school that's starting now and we're trying to do agility. And I really? say, okay. yeah, they were starting. And they, I go there and I see them to do a small agility and small obedience. And I want to ins put myself on, on the school. They say, no, your dog is too small. Uh, you have to wait until you have a st well, at least one year. I say, but he does all the stuff in obedience that you do. I say, no, no, it's too young. You could not train. You only could train a dog with uh, 12 months because before they train only by force mm -hmm. um, and the, the the age of forcing dogs to train was going away but they in portugal they didn't know uh, we are a little bit far away from the center of europe so i have my own techniques and i start and i continue in my own when he was 12 months they do it for the first time uh, belgian brevet they invite a Belgian judge to go there and they, um, they try to do a brevet. Brevet right. for, uh, for obe months. Belgian obedience. Okay. Belgian obedience. Okay, that okay. is similar like uh, monitoring because the, all the obedience is, uh, you can make slate uh, everything. Mm -hmm. it, is, it is not mechanized. And uh, what happened, uh, they know that I trained, the vet know that I trained, but they don't allow me in the, in the school. 
and they told me don't you want to go and uh, try I say okay uh, but what shall I do I don't know what is the program they say we, we we train for a while but you can see what we are training so okay I go there a week before the trial and I see they make uh, exercises that I never saw uh, stop it the uh, call uh, and the uh, feud refusal uh, throw uh, uh, upward uh, inside the s different stuff and I never see it but they say okay I I train it for a week and then we'll see and then uh, I the day of the trial I had made 98 points in uh, 100 and I win and everybody gets oh Stop. shit the dog has 12 months he already does all of this kind of shit I say, yeah, uh, but you train different because your dog is happy. Right. Say, yeah, it's happy. I like the dog. So it, it, you could say that you had the talent in that. Yeah. Because you didn't saw it from somewhere. You were no. doing it from your no, guts. Yeah. But I didn't know anything. So, uh, when the Belgian said uh, you should be the teacher of them, I say, no, I, I don't know anything. Oh, you don't know, your dog is working. Yeah, but I know for my dog, I sense it, I like him, but uh, I don't know the techniques. I would love to learn and then I teach the others. So the Belgian guy told me, if you want to learn, you can come to Belgium, I help you. So I go to police and I say, I want vacations. <laughs> uh, for what? I say, I want vacations, I want to go to Belgium for uh, 15 days. How, how old you were? Uh, I was young, I was 24, 24 20, yeah. 25, and I go to my wife and I say, I go to Belgium, do you come or stay? <laughs> because I want to learn. So where, where you, so you went to Belgium after? Yeah, I put, uh, I put vacations and I go to Belgium. I sleep where I can because I didn't have any money. And the trip to the Portugal to the Belgium was 240, 2,400 kilometers. And uh, at the, the time we don't have GPS, we don't have nothing. It was like an adventure. But she came with me and we sleep in the car, we sleep in the porch of the Belgian guy, we sleep in the club, in the floor. Where did you went in Belgium? I went to a Flemish club uh, that does uh, Belgian obedience uh, and uh, I saw the first time IPO. And I was really enchanted. I say, oh shit, Belgian obedience, great. But IPO is, whoa, biting is really another kind of thing. So I want to learn to do biting stuff and the tracking stuff. So um, I returned to Portugal. They have, they was training agility and I start also doing agility uh, to have fun. Uh, I saw a, a video and I saw a book in Belgium from a, a British woman uh, that uh, makes uh, wrote, wrote a uh, book about what it was the basic of uh, uh, agility. So I get the book and I read it and so I try agility also. So I do the three things. Um, I had a lot of time free, so I try to, to, to do it the most and my dog always want to work something. So I try. So you still have the Grenadal then? No, uh, not anymore. He's died because uh, he had died at 17 years old. No, no, I mean back then, yeah, when back you were then, in Belgium, uh, yeah, it was with yeah, a Grunendal. with a Grunendal. Okay. So I train, uh, I train a Grunendal and I, then I get in love for another female Grunendal uh, that um, it, it comes from a dog that does um, a ring, a Belgian ring, uh -huh. uh, Marcolina. Okay. Uh, how, how long uh, have you stayed in Belgium? Uh, I stayed 15 days, then I have to go back because yes. I have to work in the police. Then I work for 15 days without having any um, rest. And then I joined a lot of days and I put vacations. again vacations plus the days that I joined. And then I, I, I do it for three times. And then I learn tracking a little bit of obedience and I go to Portugal and train it. But then I go to Belgium uh, the year after to, to try it and I think I will try uh, IPO, EPO, yeah. and EPO okay. with my Grunendal, it was a problem. It 
was a really a mess. I, the dog didn't track, the dog didn't obey, didn't bite at all. Everybody told me that this dog will never do anything, but I say, yeah, but he will do. So I return. I continue to to train, and then they make a, a second trial in Belgian obedience, and I won it again in program one. Uh, in agility, sometimes he wins because it was a really fast dog, and when he uh, point make it clean, it wins it because yes, yes, yes. He, he, his uh, average weight uh, speed it was uh, four uh, four point seven no. uh, meters an hour, so okay. it's. Oh, it was like a bullet. Sometimes the problem it was me because I mix take, um, I make mistakes. I give commands of IPO or uh, obedience in the in the running of the track. So, uh, so the dog knew everything, like uh, waving poles and. Uh, yeah, yeah, he, he he broke waving poles to do it so fast because I put a system uh, to do waving poles that it was really really fast. He pushed the the, the pole. Sometimes he broken. Um, in two, in one, 1999, I was uh, representing Portugal in the World Championship of uh, Agility. Really? Yes, with him. I, I get uh, the second best time of the right. track, but uh, I stumbled to, to jumping because after I get excited. When I started, the dog was really fast. And everybody was uh, really quiet. It was in Germany, in, in Dortmund, uh, in 1999. And um, uh, what uh, when I started, the, everybody was quiet. And when he goes to the slalom and they see the fastest he do, everybody says, whoa! And they again, I push the dog more. I say, go, 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 go! When he gets out, he tumbles twice, yeah. two boards of two jumps and they say oh but i had the second best time so uh, back then in portugal it was only agility competition agility uh, once in a while they make a um, belgian EPO, obedience uh, uh, medians, and yes. they starting uh, they are trying to start tpo mm. but uh, dpo it was not good uh, we don't have dogs we don't have experience we don't have helpers i returned to belgium after six months training and I get second. I get uh, 98 in the tracking, uh, 75 in obedience because I think in obedience he was really good, and uh, 85 in attacks uh, this state because he had a problem with the stick. So um, I return and I say, I like this, it's really good. One day, uh, and I continue to do all the three disciplines. Uh, Belgian obedience, uh, IPO and uh, agility. Uh, in 2000, I go to a Bel an agility competition in Spain and uh, a guy, a friend, give me the tapes of uh, World Championship in Malaga in 1995. And I see that shit and I say, oh, I would love that. Mondoring, the World Cup Mondoring in Malaga in 1999, uh, 95, 1995. And I see it and I say, whoa, what is this? My friends that train with me, I call them and I say, you have to see this. This is even crazier and bigger than the uh, IPO. It's a, ma it's a magical thing. And the guy goes there, he works at the, um, at the military police. He was a decoy and he see dog bite on the suit and he told me, hey, it's impossible to have, you, your dogs live at home. It's impossible to have a dog like that bites on the suit in the home. They are too aggressive. I say, okay, so I will. It, the, it was the guy that come with me to Belgium. So it was the guy that I, I knew that he worked with the dogs in the all already in the police uh, for a lot of he years. Had he had more experience and I say, okay, so I still continue to do, then I still continue to do IPO. I had uh, my second dog in IPO and uh, Grenadal. Uh, Grenadal. Another friend, is my friends, I have four friends that uh, also in IPO, we train uh, three or four dogs, and I think four. 
in IPO level three. And then one day I'm, I, I applied to judge of IPO. IPO. And um, it comes uh, the breather of my female uh, to judge. And then uh, we, she was, oh, I saw her uh, judging, uh, competing in IPO with a dog that also do monitoring. Mm -hmm. It was uh, a Malinois that called Ghost. Mm -hmm. The lady was Belgian and lived in Spain. And uh, then we wo I was speaking with her along the, I'm making the assessorate. Mm -hmm. And um, I told, the, I saw something, monitoring stuff and stuff, but it's, uh, it's a shame that the dogs are too aggressive. She, 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 she told me, she no. A dog in a suit should not be aggressive. If he's too much aggressive, you never, oh, never stand on a trial because he, or he has afraid of the accessor, or he didn't bite, he didn't release at all. A dog has to be a lot of balance. Say, so not possible. She say, yeah, yeah, you, you remember Ghost? Yeah, I know that you put him on suit. Yeah, you have to meet him. You go take, you go meet him. You go to my home and you meet him. And then I go there, the lady called Brigitte Coulomb, it was... Uh, Is it? Brigitte Coulomb. Mm -hmm. uh, she lived at Malaga at the time. And uh, when I see Malinois doing it, I say, I get crazy. I say, I want to do this like a, with a Grunendal. She, I will breed Grunendals to do this. She said, no, you cannot do it because you have to, to work back 100 years because uh, but i see they, they are the same dogs physically I said yeah but mentally selecting is not the same thing and uh, she said well, well the day that you have a malinois you understand a lot of difference so i get there and i see uh, malinois that impress me i see the mother of my first malinois uh, and she, she, I, I before in 1999, I, I started in a try in a training session mm -hmm. to put the suit, and she teach me some things. And uh, in two in the year 2000, I go there, and uh, she had a litter, and I want a female, but she didn't want to sell females because she said they make business with the dogs, mm. they don't breed, yes. they make uh, money makers. I say, but you know me. You it was, been in, was in Belgium or in, in Spain? In Spain. Spain. Uh, you know me. Uh, I'm not a, 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 business, a business guy. Uh, dogs are, live with me at home. I want my dogs be uh, my dogs, not uh, business. Yes. So after a while, she said, OK, I will give you one of the, my best females you can choose. Because if you do what you've done with the Grunendal, with the Malinois, I don't know where you are going to stop. So I got there and I, I was for a week there to choose the best female. And I see the whole litter before the eight weeks, all week, four times a day. And four times a day I take measures and notes and stuff and stuff. One in the morning was bad, best, but in the afternoon it was not. In the night it was best again and at night. Never, I didn't. I'd, I arrive at a point that I didn't know how to choose, and I told her choose for me because uh, I see this one in the morning it was okay, but in night no. The other one yes, but the, the other day no. Uh, I don't understand, so I don't know how to choose. I read books about the tests of Campbell and tests of every kinds of shit, but I don't know. I trust you. Uh, you choose for me. Then she told me, no, you have to choose yourself because the dog is something that stays with you for a lifetime. You have to choose it. So I get there and I say, OK, I will take the ugliest one. And I take the ugliest one. It was, uh, didn't seem nothing at all. Uh, she has, uh, when she was little, she was uh, all, all white and the, only the point of the muzzle was black. But then she grew up and uh, I started to train her. 
Uh, once in a while I go to the breeder to show her what I was doing because I didn't understand the concept of monitoring and the... So you I, were doing only monitoring with this dog? You yeah, started training in monitoring? Only monitoring. Mm -hmm. And uh, I help others to train uh, IPO, but I start to put my Grunendals to do monitoring. Oh, okay. to, to, so that I can learn. But others I help in IPO because uh, I, I believe that uh, if someone wants to do IPO, should do it. If someone wants to do agility, should do it. Doesn't matter. There are not good disciplines, bad disciplines. All are important. All are important. Some persons like more one and uh, fit more in one than in other. And um, I started. Once in a while, I go there and I show her what I was doing, and she, my head, <laughs> she was really tough. But uh, I was learning. I start to put Grunendals making uh, in 2001 uh, Mondial Ring. Uh, ah, so you competed in 2001? Yes, with Grunendal in World Cup in Asti. I, I was in level one with uh, Grunendal. My Grunendal, the first dog, they made uh, four disciplines different. And uh, 2002, I was in World, Chap World Cup in Belgium with Malinois at last, with two years. And she, yes, and she got second. Really? Yeah, she got second. She, she was really impressive. So uh, then I saw, because I, when I saw her with one year making attacks much, much harder than my Grunendal with seven, and she was really okay. And the Grunendal sometimes have insurance. I say, yeah, Malinois is completely different. The, the genetics, Breathing and selective is really, really important. It makes a lot of difference. Sometimes people don't understand it, but it's the most important thing in the dog selection is the genetics. If the father and the mother are really super dogs, stable dogs, with the, all the drives up, the, they can do everything. Yes. So. Um, I was with her in 2003, I made the litter to test when she has three years old and the old dogs was good uh, with her uh, and I, in 2003 I get fourth uh, in the world championship in the, um, Switzerland in level two and the next year, as I had the litter, I had on past level and uh, she had promised to release in the guard of object and the stop it attack. So I continued to and I get fourth again. Uh, then uh, I had Gara uh, the year after and uh, 2006 I start with Gara. Uh, she was born in Gara, it was the daughter of her of Hari, and uh, in that litter, uh, seven dogs go to level three. Yes, and uh, we get to the point that uh, in, in World Cup 2011, uh, it was the, the 2010, it was the mother mm -hmm. and uh, th the three sons in trial. And uh, the Category year, three. yes, in level three. And the uh, 2011, it was four sons in competition. Nice. Four in level three, one fifth in level two. So um, that is genetics. I repeated the litter and uh, uh, then uh, now... Under uh, your kennel name or...? Duques Negros. Because I, I don't uh, so much sell the dogs. Mm -hmm. Normally, I don't announce even the, the litters. So normally you breed for yourself? I breed you for myself to... and for friends that okay. uh, train me or know me. Uh, I don't care about the money. And uh, how many liters have you done until today? Uh, Malinois? Uh, I'm on the fourth liter. So I have, I have uh, 11 dogs in level three. Amazing. Already. Uh, it's a little bit crazy, and uh, more four in level two, and a lot of it in level one. And because uh, I don't like so much, for me, breathing, it's uh, seeing what I meant. 
Now uh, I, I do another one to take my next dog. Mm -hmm. My female now, Furia, has seven years. Mm -hmm. So I preparing to a dog to choose her dog to replace her when she has nine. When they have nine I retirement, they, they go only to, they, they stay at home and they train decoys. So, so at the moment, uh, how many dogs do you have? Now seven. Seven dogs. All Malinois? Yes. No, uh, I had a... Um, uh, they give me a friend, give me a Dutch Shepherd. I was in France judging a trial in Paris uh, of Monduring and uh, I passed. I already have judged the mother of the puppies. Uh, I did, he was not the friend at the time and I liked it. She win the level two okay. with that female. I Who asked her. Name? You remember? Uh, no, I don't remember. Because, but I asked her, where do you found the Dutch Shepherd? Uh, uh, so good. She told me uh, the, the breeder, but I didn't. It was not even. It was not my race. You understand? I tested a lot of dogs in KNPV in Holland, uh, Dutch Shepherd, and never like one. Yes. Yes, I test more than fifty. Why? They was too aggressive. Mm -hmm. They was too. Um, Suspicious with persons, uh, they. Um, I never saw one that I was right. really passionate. So, uh, what kind of uh, lines you like? Uh, like I like. Uh, or, uh, I like a, a dog that is stable at home, quiet, that is sociable with everybody in dogs also, mm -hmm. and a dog that has full power drives and is fast. So you are, uh, you prefer to have the dogs in your house instead yeah, of kennels? Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't like kennels. Uh, okay. I don't. Uh, in Portugal, we don't have it. Um, I, I will count a story, but I will not tell you the, the name of the dog because I won't, I won't let the, the guy in, in bad position. Yes. But a guy that, a dog that won the a World Cup, Ask me if I want to make a litter with my f his dog with my female because my female was really strong, and this dog also, and it's a police officer. It was my friend, and uh, I go there to make the litter, and I say, okay, can I see? I make 2,300 kilometers to go to make the litter. Yes, the meeting. Yeah. The meeting, and then I go and uh, I say, can I see the dog? He say, see the dog? Yeah. Can I touch the dog and be to meet the dog? I didn't. No, you are crazy. My dog is not uh, sociable. Say, not sociable. No, it's a police dog. Yeah, but my police dog, uh, I get him at home, and it's it's a normal dog. When I say now is the time to bite everybody, he gets crazy. When uh, <laughs> uh, when is the time to relax? It's time to relax. I say no, no, no. My dog uh, and uh, how we are going to put them together. We, throw the female on the kennel, he do it the stuff, and they say, but you stay together. No, no, even to me, don't like when he has females on heat. I say, oh shit. I say, I don't want your dog. I say, why? I, I give the, the dog and I want to buy a puppy. For me, another for, for my helper. I say, I, know, I don't want it. What I will do with the rest of the dogs? In Portugal, everybody that does Mondioring, a lot of them has the dog as a companion dog. Uh, they could not have a dog like this in a home. A dog that's not social, it's aggressive, it's, uh, uh, even to the handler. No, 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 no. If a dog is aggressive to the handler, I don't think he should be even breathing with him. It's, it's, not, it's not the point. We have a lot of dogs possible. Why we should breed with a dog that's aggressive to the handler, aggressive to the other person? Uh, it's not normal. In a normal life, the dog should guard. Dog is over here. If someone comes slowly, the dog should guard. Yes. Yeah, but uh, I'm up here. Your dog, I touch your dog. Your dog bite me. Why? I didn't do anything. We are spoken. We are friends. Yes. I go at your home. You have to lock your dog because he bites me. I don't understand. For me, it's not the point. Normal. You understand? Yes. So I didn't breed with him, and I breed uh, with another dog that uh, once I go. I buy a lot of dogs to the police and yes. to the to security firms. The one day I see another dog, it was, I saw him at this and I say, that dog, I want to see him. And it was really a stable dog. 
And then, after a while, I get to know that it was the brother of the dog of um, the Swiss guy, the um, when three times Valmy Andrikovsky, the, the dog, dog of uh, Andrikovsky, dog that went three times. I have, then after I saw that it was a brother of him, and it was really, really, really good dog, stable dog not aggressive, good with children, good with the other. If another dog doesn't attack him, he doesn't care. It could be here, the other dog over there, he says, I don't care. If you don't mess with me, I don't do anything, I don't care. I have seen that uh, a lot of uh, police agencies in countries, they are choosing uh, Holland to buy their dogs. Yeah. And they are, uh, they are saying that uh, the Holland dogs are better with environmental stress. Instead of, for example, Belgian ones. Mm. What do you think? No, I don't agree with that. Uh, I, I don't. Uh, I, I also I don't agree that the Belgians are the best. For me, the bel best lines it when we mix them together. Mm -hmm. When we mix the French lines with the Belgian lines, sometimes with some lines in Dutch, because sometimes some Dutch lines are um, not not uh, not uh, sociable. Uh, I, my police dog is uh, it's a really a problem because it's a Dutch line and it's really aggressive. You're already biting two handlers, uh, bite everybody. Only if it was not I to take him, he was going to put at sleep. Okay. Uh, that is not a good dog. So the Dutch the Dutch shepherd you have it's a, a FCI dog or a KMPFR dog. A KNPV. KNPV. Uh, but uh, the, in Holland, uh, for what I saw, uh, the papers are not yes, really important. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, the important for them is the working, uh, the working of the dog. And that is good. Yes. I'm not uh, completely against. But uh, also I think that uh, a lot of these dogs work in uh, higher stress. Yes. If they are in high drive, they, are, they don't have problems with the environment. But when they are lower drive, yes, sometimes they have. Uh, I bought, uh, uh, I, I test more than 100 dogs in Holland, KNPV dogs, because the, they want to buy KNPV dogs. And uh, I bought uh, 14, 15. And uh, it's hard to, to find a dog that, uh, and technically, a KNPV dog is not too much clever. It's a, it's a dog that gets crazy, but is not too much technical. Uh, it's easily deceived. You can deceive him easily because it's a, he, he only has one place to go. I like KNPV. Uh, I think KNPV can brought us a lot of things good also. But um, also we have to understand that it's different. A dog when he bites legs and he has all the guy in, in, on him, it's sometimes more hard than uh, a dog when he bites up. There are yeah, the dogs that, biting up, they normally have a better control also of the situation. Yeah, so it's yes, exactly. So we don't feel so much pressure by the guy. So we have also to see that. Um, I have a suggestion um, some months back to make a litter with my female with a dog that comes from KNPV lines, but um, I didn't do it. Okay. I didn't do it because uh, for me, um, I don't know what is behind. Okay. They know. Yes. I've been there and they know completely. The yeah, Dutch yeah. know if I put this dog with that yeah, one because yeah. they know all... They have them. their own database. They have their own lines, they know yes. the lines. But for us that we don't know, you know it will be a chance of a luck. Yes. We make and uh, maybe we, we get one happens. or two. If, if they all work, then we can choose. And then mm. after three or four generations, it could be okay. But yes. then we have to kill, uh, we have to pass over. Uh, three generations or four to know what was really in the line. Yes. That's why I don't uh, normally, I prefer not to use the KNPV okay. lines. I believe that uh, KNPV are good and they, they know to breed it well because they know all of these dogs behind, but we don't know. I don't know. Yes. And that's why I don't like to use it. Okay. Uh, I prefer uh, uh, dogs that they, they tell us uh, and we know by the, the pedigrees and mm. 
Sometimes in the middle there are a dog or what that is not exactly that dog, but persons tell us. Yes. And you, by that sense you can know, okay, if I do this I will have that. Exactly. The exactly. Dutch Shepherd that I have now, um, when it's a female, uh, she was uh, in love with me. I think because I was there and she all the time looking at me in the morning she was at the door of my room and I told her this 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 little one wants to go to Portugal I think but I think she was promised to another person but in the end the person didn't want her and uh, the breeder uh, give it to me and I will try to put her they are completely different drives they are not the same drives at the Malinois I have the, a litter also in Malinois, my lines, mm -hmm. uh, now six uh, weeks uh, to the seven, the, the, the other one has uh, four months, um, but they, it's completely different. Yes. I, they are um, inside a little bit more aggression mm -hmm. and uh, not so much uh, prey drive, okay. I think. But with the training we can balance yes. better. And, uh, but one day that I had to breathe her, I, I told the guy, I don't know what dog I will do, you have to teach me, because in Dutch lines, uh, you know what uh, what Dutch what Shepherd, I don't know. Yes. I don't know for sure, maybe I will, maybe someone help me, because I, 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 Malinois, I studied the lines for a lot of years, and uh, I know exactly what kind of dog I should take, so that I will have the kind of dog that I like. And uh, for me, it's the most important. I don't. If a person likes a stable dog and a dog that has full mm, drives, but is stable and is sociable, it's okay. But if a person, there are persons like like aggressive dogs, or dogs that don't let everybody touch, or there are persons that the good thing for them, the dog lives in a kennel. Yes. And uh, sometimes even the person to live with him, it's not uh, easy. <laughs> yes. well, as much as a dog, so. We have to have all kinds of lines. So all, but it fits to everyone. It yes. fits to everyone. Yes. Then it depends. For me, it's the best thing, but uh, for you, maybe not. Okay. But uh, that's why we should uh, tolerate and uh, understand that everybody has his own place. Uh, yeah. I don't. I don't think I have the the reason. You understand? I don't yes. think uh, my way is the best way. No, uh, I think uh, all the ways are acceptable. And then in the end. Uh, the important is to do the, this. If we can uh, achieve, then it's okay. Yes. Doesn't matter how you do, it. How you yeah. do it. The technical. Uh, nowadays, a lot of people say, "I only click uh, or I only do that." I, I don't think uh, that works. Yes. Uh, One hundred percent. Positive reinforcement is excellent. To under, for me, it's the only way to teach a dog. Yes. But then sometimes with some dogs, when we ha you have to mix to mm, to to mix, the, for instance, my police dog. It's a dog that if I work only positive things, yeah. I will have problems with him because he thinks, oh, this guy gives me it all, so I could take more. Yes. So once in there a while, there has to be a limit. Uh, I I work positive, but once in a while I have to say, hey, I'm the boss, huh? Otherwise, uh, he goes over me, yes. like, and then he bites me because yes. that's why we bite the other guys. And uh, it's often uh, uh, with uh, pet dogs, like with pet owners, yes. because they don't have limits. Yeah, the dogs yeah. turn over them. Yeah. We have to be uh, balanced. Then. Training. It's yes. a question of balance. It's yes. not a question of um, being extremist, uh, thinking uh, no. The only thing we only should kiss dogs. Oh, we only hit dogs. No, I kiss them and I correct them. Um, sometimes uh, I, in my school, a lot of people ask, what is your method? I say from kissing to biting. Because if the dog kiss me, I kiss him back. If he bites me, I have to bite him back. I sh if he bites me, I could not kiss him. Human work like that also. We need this balance. Yeah. We cannot yes. work only with pressure. Exactly. With only exactly. With positive pressure. I think for learning, is really really important that we learn with positive. positive yes. That's for sure. But then we have to draw the line and say, okay, 
your limit is here. Yes. If you passing over, no, that is not possible. So back in Portugal, uh, you have your own club or uh, about monitoring? Yes, I have it. You are the trainer there, or yeah, I'm the trainer. Okay. How uh, many people? Now uh, that's not so much because I um, I moved 300 kilometers uh, away. Uh, I'm starting over, and I have now three guys okay. with me, and with this liter I will have more, I think. Okay. And uh, in six, seven months, I think to make another one nice. with Furia, uh, to have more persons there. And uh, so, in, in Portugal, how many clubs of mountaineering exist? Uh, in Portugal, we started uh, the year 2000. Okay, and but, but how many clubs you have? Uh, when we started, we only have two. Two. Now we have um, some 12. Ah, oh, a lot. 12, I think. More than Greece. We have. 12. The, the good thing for developing a, a sport, and I was responsible for it, mm -hmm. because it was I that made the rules to the championship and made the rules for, uh, for everything. Uh, back there until 2012 I was responsible. In 2012 I have a problem in my own private life and so I have to get out mm -hmm. because I was not good in the head. And uh, the really important is that rules are made to join people what uh, can i what what, what i mean yes. with this um, in portugal i i think for a while what i thought it was important to have trials but how do you get dogs to the trials um, giving importance to people that work together mm -hmm. so when the first thing uh, I made a calendar that you to go to the cup you have to get over 10% above the approbation level 170 250 like a qualification, uh... yes to go to the cup two time two twice then you go to the cup if in the cup you get approbation then you can go to the world cup but what I do also, that was, for me, I think it was the most important thing. When you uh, inscript your dog, yeah. you refer who was your trainer and who was your head decoys. And that appears in, in the catalog, or... in the training. Mm -hmm. So that appears in the catalog and uh, we make a ranking. We make, uh, if you present uh, several dogs, you will certificate that the decoy is in training and as a trainer of Mondiring. So people want to work. You want to put the suit because in the end, if you work well, if your dog that you work well, you will be recognized. Yes. Then you will be also recognized. You will be recognized, but you also be recognized. Yes. But a this lot of guys wasn't that, that the work, problem for... A lot of guys that work with me um, are today recognized because they work for several years with my dogs. Mm. They also get the points. Yes. The points are not only for me. When I gain, um, they gain also. also. We gain it all. You have, you still have this system, or yes, we still have this system. And you don't have problems with, uh, for example, if I am training at your club, uh, and then I'm going to another club to change decoys. You know? Uh, no, because uh, when we do, uh, when we do that, we do it the provision of the our decoy. You understand? Mm. Uh, so the decoy goes there also. I don't change decoys to when I train. Okay. I I when the for instance you are you are uh, new. Mm -hmm. I you have another club. I go to you and I say, um, can you do uh, like a trial? And I see. Yes. And uh, okay, I see. I have a problem. Okay, thank you very much. I go home. I train. Yes. With my dog okay, decoys. And then I return. I they say, can we do it again? And then we do it again. I don't. Uh, change I, the guys. I don't training. believe uh, in uh, in Around mixed the, relationships. Yes. Okay. Yeah, uh, for me, one wife at a time. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> then what happened? Uh, a lot of guys get the certificate of decoys in training and the certificate of trainers, so they open another club. Mm. So we have. Several clubs. several clubs, you understand? 
though so you get another guys and then you form another one also we make a thing that is was really important in the trials that we made uh, i made the um, selection for decoys mm -hmm. it's really simple to be a decoy a basic decoy you pass a small trial in uh, level one mm -hmm. then in after one year if you are okay you can apply to selection and oh. then you pass level two in the best are going to the cup so also the guys uh, that to work in, uh, in the suit in a, in a, in a competition mm -hmm. are evaluated and recognized and the best guys that work better physically and yes. uh, technically. technically they get first so they also are recognized who for a sport like this to grow up we have to recognize the, the worth the mm -hmm. working uh, the ability to work of each one. So you are, you are building all this to create motivation to the people to work exactly. more and to exactly and for, because for a country like Portugal that Portugal didn't have a, like culture in dog sports like Belgium or no, Germany. No, we it's don't a lot of nothing. clubs. So how many competitors do you think nearly Portugal have? Last year, uh, I think we have 19 dogs in three. A lot. Yes, and a yeah. lot more on yes. low levels. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I think we have a good pyramid, yes. see, and uh, I think it's going to grow, because um, if we maintain things, uh, look, if you, I, I move uh, 300 kilometers, and in the beginning, uh, for the first year, I pass my own female, my dog, my wife hold it, and they pass, and they make the, all the attacks, all, of it, all the time. Now. I have two guys that saw me and I teaching his dogs and so they saw me, they, they can, sh can I do it? And then they start to do it and then so when they are w w and then after they work five times my dog, uh, when I go to the next trial, I written his name. When they saw the name, they say, oh, you put my name there. I say, yeah, you helped me for five times, I put your name there. It's normal. So they, they think, okay, we are a team, we are nice, together. Nice. And that is the most important in Mundering. I need you, you need me. Yes. We have to work together. And it's often, this is a problem in clubs and in yes, teams. That, yes. uh, because in Mundering, you really want more people to work. You cannot do it alone. No, so for defense of the handler, you yes. need at least two. two um, I, I have my dogs made my, for years, seven years so she already is placed in training but the new ones uh, it's me that do it the young dogs but when they are prepared I start to put the others also yeah. because they have to and then when I see a problem I put the suit and I regulate this, the problem so that we go together and uh, it's, important. it's important that we go together it's important that uh, we Sometimes uh, the most important thing when we work in a team is to understand the others also have problems and also have falls and also have bad days, also have mm, make mistakes. Ooh, the, most, the most important is to understand people. How understanding, yeah? Yes. Sometimes you have people that go to me that only want to learn and then kick me back. But uh, I don't care. Because in the end, it's them then lost, not me. It's a good, nice thing saying that. Because I was his friend. And them was not my friend. So they lost a friend, a guy that is true. So uh, how many years do you are judging? I judge Mondering uh, since 2003. I judge in Slovenia 2005, the World Cup. Uh, I judge uh, two cups in uh, Spain already. Uh, I'm not so Next much. Next year will be in Spain, eh? Yeah. The FCI. Yeah, I, I was invited for twice already to judge World Cup in FCI, mm -hmm. but uh, as I have dog, and uh, I think I'm young. Uh, it's better that I profit with my dog when I'm older, then I judge more. Yes. Uh, and um, I, for, I like the game. Yes. What, what do you think, uh, 
in general from the organization from the FCI and from the FMBB uh, the it, difference between the it is the first the, time the, I am here uh, I see some difference like um, I see the 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 group of monitoring works a lot they are excellent the German group the German group uh, it's uh, really really working a lot to be really super but um, uh, we we see small things that we are not treated I'm an IPO judge and I see IPO judges being treated in a different way than the judges of monitoring here okay uh, in a better way in a better way mm -hmm. For me, in general, uh, for me, it's not important because uh, I'm I like the dogs and I will be here uh, no matter what yes. because I like it. But um, same time makes me sad because yeah, all sorry. disciplines are good, all of them, all. In my school, I have uh, obedience FCI, I have agility. I have uh, monitoring, I have IPO, I put the sleeve for IPO, I like, I still judge IPO. Because I believe that all are so important, like all should be yes, equal. equal. Yes. And so you don't uh, like the discrimination? Yeah, I don't like so much the discrimination, but you know for one thing, I think that uh, we don't give importance to that. If we don't give importance to that, gets over with time that will when I was uh, I was in GTM uh, before the FCI group uh, when the monitoring was not recognized uh, at all by the FCI and um, I always believe that uh, it's not the persons it's the idea as long as we keep the idea, keep the idea living uh, today, today I'm not okay, but uh, you will get it idea, and then another day I will recover, and I, you get, you are bad, but I, you are not good, but uh, I take the idea okay. together, and all pushing the idea, all disciplines are important. Our discipline is so important as any other one. It's not better, not worse, but it's also important as all the other ones. I want to ask you, what do you think of uh, monitoring during, during the years? How it started and how it is today? We are developing a, li a lot. Um, I, see, uh, I see that we are changing mm -hmm. every single year. We are growing up. Why I say that? Because um, I, I, I train uh, monitoring for 17 years. And when I started, we don't move the legs. We wait until the dog bite, and then some dogs get uh, punched because they don't move the leg because they are afraid because everybody say, you don't move the legs. Now we are uh, in a different phase. I think we are in a phase that uh, is more understandable. We let them work. If we see they skip the dog intentionally, we don't count. Uh, as long as they don't hurt the dog, for it, it's okay. They could work and they could be more free because if you go there and I say, don't move that, don't do that, don't do that. Yeah, and in a while you, don't, you, th you think you are a robot. Yes, yes. You don't act natural. So and, uh, and I saw uh, in this competition uh, that uh, you have set up a camera also. Yes. So that you are seeing uh, the skips of the decoys, if there is one. Yes, if necessary. And if they do an skip, you give full points to the dog, or? Yeah, if we see they skip the dog. Yes. So you believe that uh, a skip does not belong to monitoring? No, no. I, I think that a skips, it will be... Um, it could be in monitoring, because it's not a problem. Yes. We And we see... Uh, the, if we measure it like uh, they do it in French ring, if um, but it's not on the if it, if it is if if it was rotten on the rules that was one point before it was half point, mm -hmm. now it's one point in French rules. But uh, if you see it's one point for the fir first passage and then it's three points, then it was okay. So. For me, I think they should not be used 
uh, while they are not written on the rules. So but that we, everyone who trains a dog knows what to train, eh? Exactly. Um, but uh, for if you ask me if I train skis, yes, I train skis. I train counter skis, I train pivot, I train every single thing. Even uh, um, don't moving attacks. Because the dog has to be ready. It has yes. to be ready, ready for everything. You, this, you are building a soldier, a fighter. A fighter, I, I, I train, uh, I start to train this year MMA. MMA. Yes. MMA. Um, I, some years back, I made uh, combat, full contact. Mm -hmm. uh, then I do kickboxing, I do a lot of things. But um, I never learned to fight on the, on the ground. Mm -hmm. and then, uh, some years back, I, I met a guy that is really incredible. It's a great friend. And uh, he is a professor of Jiu-Jitsu and then uh, he fights MMA. And so I learn. And I go there, I say, oh shit, this is important because they, when they go to the ground, sometimes in the real life, in the police officer life, when we go to the ground, sometimes I don't know what to do. Yes. I stay like that in the ground, I don't touch you. Get up, get up, <laughs> because you understand. So the dog, I think, what shit, I have to teach my dog everything. To be prepared for... So that he's yes. prepared for life, yes. because... Even a decoy, when he doesn't want to esquive the dog, he can esquive the dog because the dog grows really, really fast. That can happen. But if the dog is prepared, nothing happens. Yes. If he's not prepared, then he will have a problem. So, <coughs> I believe that in the future, yes, maybe they can be, maybe they can enter, but they have to put it on the rules. I have nothing against it. Yes. I have nothing against it. Uh, the that we are a regulament that's free, as long as it doesn't harm the dog. For me, oh. it's a, it's a question of we know that it's going to happen. I train it. Um, Celso, uh, would you like to say something to to the world of monitoring? Okay. Yes, yes. I would love to say that to the young countries. I've been judging in young countries like Brazil, uh, like Greece, uh, like Denmark. I think the first thing uh, is uh, to put uh, a rules that pull people to work together and to pull people that recognize the work of the people that work. Instead of fighting, uh, we should uh, bring us together and uh, then uh, in trial is a trial doesn't matter yeah. the important uh, we have to grow all together uh, if you are the only one uh, you are the only one you are nothing okay so the the new countries it's important they get together they get sometimes we have to forget the problems that we have with a person mm. and think on the sport uh, this championship, I've done it. There is a guy uh, that normally I don't spoke with him, but he yeah. comes and I uh, uh, com compliment him and be exactly just with him. Yes. We have to be like that. We have to be just with the persons. Yes. Our problems, I don't like him. Whoa. Then Outside after the, the trial, uh, don't speak with him. Wow, not a problem. But we have to think, Mondiring in new countries have to get together. Uh, if we have to discuss, we discuss inside the group so that others cannot use uh, our discussion against us. Yes. And um, it's like family, yeah? Yes. Problem stays inside. Yes, yes. And uh, I think uh, we can grow much, much, much more. Because uh, we see new countries sometimes that have peers and we see the level they have is really good. Yes. So there is good trainers in, the, in other countries. It's, we have to give them an opportunity and we should help them. Um, so uh, what are your plans uh, for the future? Uh, my plans is to have fun. Always have fun. Uh, when I go in the field, judging, uh, putting the suit or uh, competing. competing, I only think 
I will have fun. I will enjoy myself. Doesn't matter. I win, I lose. I don't care. Winning or losing is something uh, that you have once. Uh, or not. Doesn't matter. Uh, it's important that you enjoy the thing. You enjoy the moment with your dog. I love my dogs. And uh, that is the, the thing that uh, we should always remember. Yesterday I loved to see the um, uh, a handler that call his dog in the positions and when the dog comes, he kissed the dog. And I say, shit, good. He touched the dog before I horn it. And the judge said, he touched the dog before. I said, oh, kiss him. And I think this is, these are the little things that uh, it's often missing from sports. Yeah. For sure, it's a competitive sport, and this brings frustration to people. Yeah. Competition, of course. Yeah, frustration. But also, competition brings, brings uh, evolution. But, but brings, it has to be a balance. You yeah. know why it brings frustration? Because people think the bad thinking. The good thinking is when they, when sometimes. I have problems also in, the, in this, because mm -hmm. sometimes I do stuff and people don't understand and they don't like so much what I do. And sometimes they vengeance on me when I'm handling. I don't care. Sometimes they vengeance and they take me point there. They didn't exist and they go there, I thank you. Thank you very much. And they look at me and say, he's joking with me? I say, no. You make me go forward when you take me points. Because when you take next me for this thing, be... I will work it. And I go home, I say, next time he will not take me points for that. I, he could take me for the other thing. Doesn't matter. I work the other thing. And then I work the other thing. Doesn't matter. And this is the thing. You have to prepare your dog to be so good that no one can take points from you. And then you are growing up. Yes. If they take you points, if they don't like you, they take you points for, sh for nothing. I say, okay, that happens with me in the while in the Portugal. Uh, it was uh, to judge me inside the field, it was three judges, one doing the commissar, the other right, and the other judging, and all the three don't like me. They all, there was uh, ex um, guys that I teach, okay. but uh, there was like students of ex students, but uh, after they 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 was uh, they don't understand uh, they don't don't they don't think the same way that I do, and so they don't like me yes. anymore. I, I like them and same for me it uh, doesn't care. Yes. So I present my dog. The decoys didn't spoke with me because there are two decoys that get out of my club, and I present the same. And so we go to the field and I do the, my stuff. And uh, then, in the, the escort, we o you only have three passes on the, on the obstacle. Yeah. And uh, they make the, the decoy makes three passes, and uh, didn't have a chance, because the dog was really, really, really yeah. touched. So, the, one, the judging, the guy that was judged, says, OK, go. And the, guy, the, guy, the, the judge that's written says, no, no, another one. And the, the commission said, yeah, yeah, another one. The other said, but it's four. Doesn't matter. Uh, and I smile. And then the guy gets 10 meters at the fourth one. And then he goes to the second obstacle, also gets six, six seven meters at the fourth passage. And in the end, I go, thank you very much. And uh, they look at me. They was, maybe they think I was reclaiming or something. Uh, I win the same thing, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, I made 367, and the second is 315. Um, I go home and I train. And the next competition, I do the guy the same. Now I, I want to see you take meters. Yeah. And he tried, he tried, he tried, he get one meter. And I was happy. Yes, because this made you better. Eh? Yeah. You use this experience to evolve yes. and not it's to cry or thing. to... No, yes. why? Frustration. No frustration. No. I, I use the energy and I think, why I will use my energy to discuss with them or to be mad? No. 
I go home, I use my energy, okay, focus. That I will miss on us. Oh, I do this and that and that and that and that. And I'm occupied. I don't spend my energy so, with bad things. For what? Mm -hmm. We only have a life. True. True. So, uh, Celso, I'm really glad that uh, you gave me the opportunity to to meet you and to meet, uh, to show you to everyone and uh, make this interview. Uh, I'm really you. happy to have this conversation with you and uh, we will meet in the future. Surfing. That's all we want to do.